it's the 6th of October, I'm in Winchester, and here's the remains of Nunnaminster or St Mary's Abbey or whatever it is, uh, near the tourist information office. And what a sad life I lead when I have to spend my time filming things like this. And here's the city mill. I was going to go in here, but I decided not to bother because it's a bloody youth hostel thing and there's not much open. Not easy to keep that straight when it's that far back. But anyway, this is the uh, the old city wall. Bit of a window up there, and here I am. And now at 1 p.m., I give a tour of places for Poo. Here we are, the entrance. Go through the doorway. Instantly, we find ourselves at a place for Pooh! Here we are. You don't want to read that. All you need to know is that this tower in there was once a place for poo. There is a passage from the place for poo. And here we find ourselves at the end of many chambers. And there is the great hall. And there is the serving room. And here is a huge hole in the kitchen wall where they say there was fireplaces but I know really it was a fart so big it bust the wall and here is the courtyard full of grass yes so within the kitchen for many years people thought it was a keep but they did keep nothing it was kitchen alone and we have a bit of oven there and you see today Nothing. Upstairs rooms for the toilet places for poo. And let us come back. And here is the great hall. Yes, with a big hole for a window at the end. It was in this room where Henry V was given tennis balls. And here's rooms running up the side which later also became places of the Great Hall. And here is the courtyard next to it. It was much bigger, but there is a place getting in the way. Yeah. Here is the east corner of the whole range of buildings. And this space here was once full of bakehouses and breweries and things. Where you would eat food that would then make you poo. And here's the outside of the kitchen, one bit of their off thing. More bit of courtyard. End of Great Hall from one way. And all this range here was lots of buildings. This big long one in front of me was a wine cellar. And there in front we have a kind of gatehouse which was only used as postern gate because nobody liked it because it smelt of poo. Speaking of poo, here are all the many drains where the poo and wee-wee would drain away. And here is some of the poo in situ.
Here I am on the walls of the very top part of the Royal Apartments. This is where Queen Mary had her honeymoon. And she said, where's the bloody walls gone? And there is the modern day Bishop's Palace. He's in there having a poo as we speak. Here is the porchway in to the big royal pit built by William Gifford. And here is the small room for throwing poo. This was the first room used for throwing poo. But unfortunately, in 1164, it was so full of poo, they had to block it off and build another room for throwing poo, which was this one, as I've told you. Now, if we come through here, let us do it like a small animal would see it. That is how a small animal would have seen it. Now we have the gatehouse. And we have many bits through here. There we are. That up there is an original Cadbury's chocolate finger. But they were very big and they weren't very nice, so they left it there. Right, that is a small room for pulling faces out of. That is a kind of entrance but was hardly ever used. By the way, the treasurer lived here. And you've seen this one, so you can't see it again. When the Archbishop of Canterbury stayed here, in 1165, he was so afraid, for there was no poo anywhere. So he had to bring his own. It was all shipped in from Canterbury in many, many trucks and buggies and lorries and trains and coaches and sedan chairs and rickshaws and motorcycles. And he built up an entire room full of poo in Bishop Wolsey's palace. And from then on, it was known as Bishop Wolsey's Poo uh, until he died. And then after he died, all the poo was taken away again and it made a big Pooh sculpture in the middle of Winchester, which is now known as Pooh Corner. After all the Pooh was removed, Wolsey Palace went into decline. And as a result, it all crumbled away in the space of one evening, because nobody loved it anymore. And here is part of Winchester College, yes. And this is where Jane Austen died, which is great because I hate Jane Austen. It's Cat Weasel. So this is King's Gate. Uh, there is a small church above it. One of the old... Shut up! Wanker. <laughs> there is a small church above it, as you can see. And before it was called King's Gate, it was called Cowan Gate. This is Cheney Court. So called because Lon Cheney Jr. filmed Phantom of the Opera here. And here we are just around the corner at the deanery. And it's raining. And here's the cathedral. And we pan across. And there are some old walls as yet unidentified. But they must be ecclesiastic -y -y -y.
Gallison and Lydia de Rogatis. No, I'm not. Just left their villa in the country, as they do every autumn. To become plastic dummies. In the city of Winchester. Yes. Now then, as went to Belgaro. But this year has been particularly wet, and the weather has caused more than its share of problems. You're not kidding. Both Winchester and the country are still getting over the civil war battles between King Stephen and Empress Matilda. Uh, Tim Sewell and Although Eddie the having a drink. To succeed Stephen still rumbles on. For the ordinary people of the Brooks area, like Roger the Vintner and his friend Robert, making a living is just as important as the country's politics. Silly thing. I need the toilet. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. And here's the west gate. Yes. It's still raining and I'm wet and there are too many people about. See, they're all there. Go away. I'm going to go in there, see if I can find a place for poo. Ah, the rain has stopped, yes, and there is no one around, so now I can go down here. Let us have a look through the nasty, dark thing. Oh, and what is around there? More nasty, dark places, yes. Hmm, a place for poop. Well, really worth a walk, wasn't it? Queen Eleanor's garden, closed for repairs. And you can see they're very busy inside. Yes, back to this again. I may even go in this time. Well, here am I, on the roof of the west gate, having just tripped down two steps, because I wasn't looking at the floor. And let's have a look over this side. Hmm, bugger all over here too, yes. And there are some steps up there, which it seems you can no longer get to. Well, they have gone. See, very small door I came through. That is because it was populated by pixies. 
at the time. Ah, that's not bad, is it? Hello, Winchester. There we are. I'm now doing this. So that was the Almoners Hall and the gateway, which I am in now. And you can still see bits of gateposts. There we are. Let's zoom in on them. And this was a private chamber in which I am not allowed because it's all locked up. But it looks quite nice, though I wouldn't want to live here today. And here's a stream. And a bit of medieval walling. And a medieval bridge down there. Here we are, little medieval bridge which today leads nowhere.